That one is nine, that one's eight. They're doing really well in the 12 and unders. They may be some of the best uh, little guys that I've ever seen. For my ideal forehand, what I'd like to see, they're probably going to be hitting a lot of their balls semi-open stance. But if a ball is coming right to them, what I want them to do is I want them to move forward. And I, I prefer those closed stance if you can move forward. If they're moving laterally, then they can start getting the semi-open or open stance forehands. Grip-wise, I would like between a full eastern and a semi-western grip like that. Take back. What I want to do is I want to make a unit turn. I'd like to away from my body. I don't want to get it too close. I don't want to get too far away. I believe in a little bit shorter backswings for most of the players nowadays. I'd like to see the hitting side of the ball shot away from the body, pointing off the side wall just a little bit, racking it above the wrist like this. The UST would like it to be a little more stripping down. I'd like it a little more cocked forward like that towards the net like that. When you drop down below the ball, it gives you a lot more head speed. Most of the kids will probably be best at doing that. Swing path, I want them to swing out through the shot. It's going to go below the ball. It's going to extend out. Doesn't have to be some stretchy thing, but it's got to extend out far enough where they can hit through the court. The fall through is going to depend on the height of the ball and how much top spin they're hitting and the shot they're hitting. But basically, you want them to end just about shoulder high. We want to keep the racket face pretty much vertical. All the players are not going to end up with the same fall through. Each player is going to be a little bit different. Their fall throughs will change according to the height of the ball they're hitting, too. If they're they're hitting really low balls down there like that. The fall through it might be a little bit lower. If they're hitting waist high shots or high balls, they're, they're gonna end up a little bit higher. Depends on the ball height, what type of spin they're putting on it, how flat they're gonna hit it. They don't have one forehand. What did Roger Federer say? What type of forehand do you have? And he said, which one? That's a great way of saying that because it's all situational. If he's moving in and trying to attack, he's going to hit a lot straighter, flatter forehand. If he's rallying, if you haven't noticed, Federer hits very heavy topspin. Most of the players have much heavier topspin when they're behind the baseline and moving laterally.